So in lab 4 we're playing on uh, mapping out datum shifts. In this lab we're going to be covering how uh, what a datum shift is and also we're going to be looking at projection tools and we're going to be using ArcGIS Spatial Analyst. And with that we're going to be using inter interpolation and contouring tools. What we're going to be looking at is the datum shifts between North American datum 1983 and North American datum 1927. And we've worked with datums a little bit now in the uh, we've been mostly working in North American data in 1983 so let's look up some information about a datum so I'm gonna go to my trusty Wikipedia page on datums and you can see here the definition of a datum is a reference from which measurements are made and basically the datum defines the grid it's the defines where the origin is and also like where other points on that grid are and what we use them for is to define our longitude and latitude points. Datums in different parts of the world are measured differently. In North, since we're in the U.S., and we use the North American datum, and it's the horizontal control datum for the United States. So today we're going to see the difference between the North American datum that was measured in 1983 and the North American datum that was measured in 1927. And you can see here from uh, Wikipedia where they see the comparison between NAD27 and NAD83 uh, is that sometimes that you can have a displacement of, of up to 10 meters between the two datums. And if I look at this map that's up on Wikipedia, this is pretty nice, it's going to show you the displacement between the NAD27 and NAD83. So you can see here, actually it even looks like it's more for parts of Texas between uh, where we are in Austin it's about uh, 38 meters displacement so working in the proper uh, North American datum uh, can can mean a big difference if you don't know what your your datum is and you choose the wrong one your locations and shape files and points may be different the way you convert between datums is by using a transformation and for this lab we're going to be using the NADCON uh, transformation method and we're going to use that to convert between the datum so if I look here at the NOAA website they explain their NADCON uh, datum conversion utility and basically the the, the, the the transformation method it will take whatever longitude latitude you have in NAT27 and convert it over to NAT83 or back and forth and ArcGIS has these tools built in and this is what they call projection on the fly and this is why we can add stuff from NAT83 and NAT27 together and they just they just show up in the right spots because they have these transformations but for us in this lab we want to understand how these transformations are happening and what the software is doing not just trust whatever happens and because in some cases you may want to use a different transformation or uh, you might be converting between two unknown datums that don't have a transformation that's built in so I'm just going to go over to the Blackboard site. And uh, go ahead and download the data for this lab. So we're planning on computing the datum shifts for every quadrant angle in the continental United States. So we're going to have to download the data from there for the USGS uh, 24K uh, zips. And the reason why it's called 24K is because uh, it's, a tw it's a tw 1 to 24,000 uh, scale. So I can just go over here to assignments, exercises, and of course you can find all your labs here. And if you go down, you'll find your uh, USGS uh, quad 1983 and states NAD 83 so just go ahead and download those and uh, extract them to your to your zip to your uh, H drive and of course when I'm working with zip files I just do open and then I just hit extract to instead of saving the zip file and then I'm gonna put that into my H drive I have a 
uh, geographer's craft folder and I'm going to call this lab 4 of course and then that's going to extract those out and then of course go back and do the exact same thing with the second set Great, and then I always like to go and check what happened with my H drive by uh, going to the computer and actually looking physically in the folder. So if you see here, you have your, and if I look in this folder, I'll see that I have a few different files. And this state, NAT83, is the shape file for, for our states, and this USGS24 is our, uh, is our shape file for the for the quads and you can see like there's a multiple files and that's the way that shape files work in ArcMap you have your you know geometric shape and then you have your stuff like your database file uh, here where it's going to have your attribute tables and projections and all these different informations that the computer uses to uh, read the shape file and in ArcMap though this will all show up as one file so I'm all ready to now to go for my lab 4 you know the, now you know the background information on it and in the next videos, we'll be looking at the concepts in the lab on how to do lab four and uh, explain how those things work. Uh, see you next time.